court. The king of Duopolis v. the city of Southport is now in session. Okay. Well, here I was, standing there, right in the middle of the intersection in Southport. Not in nowhere, in broad daylight, I'm attacked by a husk. This is my lawyer. This would never happen in Duopolis, would never happen in Montempolis, but it happened in Southport. And my armor took some durability points, so that's going to cost me a lot of experience, you know. What, you're suing me for damages? Yeah. And furthermore, I don't remember the other- oh yeah, the sweet berry bushes. Those got me too. <laughs> right on the side of the road. I was just walking on the sidewalk, and those berries just stretched out and slashed me. I'm injured, and I need compensation. May I ask what the damages were in terms of having to regain your health? I think because the only way this can be made even is for him to be thrown into the puff of his pit. You are suing him <laughs> for equal injury that you took. <laughs> yes. Right. Dustin, yeah, I, I think you've... Yeah, Dustin, you've had your... Get, get back. The, the court calls Mr. Fuji Fair representing the city of Southport to the stand. Your honor, dumb fuck. I would like to challenge the prosecution to point to a single law that says he has the right to sue me for taking damage out in public, especially an unwalled city in which the threat of potential mob attacks is implicit. Well, I actually did find the constitution of New Algonia right here. Um, What's it shall say? I read it? Yeah. We the people of New Al we the people of the New Algonia do ordain this constitution as the real deal. You know, it uh huh huh. The constitution outlines the the structure of the government. <laughs> Bill of Rights. I'm a judge. Six, no amendment. Alright, that's all. So pretty much none of that helps either of you. Man, All right. I, I, those are the laws. Those are the laws. What? Are they laws? Do we have right. laws set? Okay. So, you we're said. Set up. I. I would like to speak, if I may. I'm still. Um, I haven't even spoken. Yeah. Basically, there's not even a constitutional or legal basis for him to sue me. No laws are violated. There are no. Ev there aren't even any codes in Southport that say that the government, specifically the city government, needs to keep mobs out of public and by entering the place he basically forfeited his right to reasonable safety in Southport at this time and therefore has no basis for any of his claims. Okay. All right. Your honor. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you want me to point out a law that says that I can't be assaulted in public. I want you to point out a law. That's all. I want to, you, I want you to admit right here you have no laws. <laughs> I oh, want you to true. say in public, in writing in this book of this landmark case, that you have no laws. So either well. you are going to admit right now that you have no protections for the property, life, and well-being of any people who inhabit your land, or you are going to lose this court case. Objection. You just shot yourself in the foot. While talking, you said that there is no protection for people, property, or whatever in this state. But the judge just read the very protections against such injustices in the Constitution. Therefore, we do have laws. I can let you guys look through it if you, if you would like. This is going to be a legal precedent that says people can just be assaulted in broad daylight, essentially. <laughs> I'd almost argue this is more of a moral suit <clears throat> than a legal one. I don't know. If you're guaranteeing the property of your people, then I don't know. Seems like I would be entitled to something. You don't guarantee anything if you don't even care that I'm getting assaulted in broad daylight in your town. You may technically he, have he some laws. makes a point that you are supposed to protect property of which his was damaged. Why are you not responsible? 
Yes, that's the best way to put it. <laughs> because there's nothing that says I have to be. In the current state of our government, there is nothing that says that the government needs to be responsible for the safety of people. Watch out, Destiny. I'm suing my templates now. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to I believe for something that, nature did. I believe that you are correct about the husk. That can be thrown out thrown out. I think that the berries need to be discussed now. Because that, true. that was not discussed. Would you guys like to wander over there and we can see exactly yes. what happened? That would yeah. Be, that would be good. Is this the site of the accident? No, it's far worse. This is clearly a berry field right here. Yes, that is clearly yeah, this a berry is... field. But this right here, just off the sidewalk. Someone this normally is... walking on the sidewalk could easily be hit by these berries. These are, it's just, look at that. That was still quite painful, I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> well, huh. shall we head back now that we've seen the evidence? What evidence? You did just see him destroy the evidence, too, as the judge. I did. Have to be against the rules or something. Go ahead and defend yourself, Harrison. I, I don't even know what to say about that. That was just plants. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many times I was assaulted and killed in Duopolis? Very few. <laughs> He's probably right. <laughs> It's very safe city. up there. Yeah, it's very, very safe. All right, but who would you say it would be right for me to sue the city of Duopolis if I were to walk into spiky plants? If I put, like, a Punjabi death pit in the sidewalk, then yes, please do <laughs> sue me. That's not comfortable at all. <laughs> That's what you did to me. That's what you did to me. If you put... A landmine on the sidewalk. <laughs> if I did that in Duopolis, then yes, I deserve to be sued. Even though there are no laws about it, because there are no laws, I am the law. I'd say, yeah, that's pretty dumb. I'll give you some stuff. I do believe Minecraft does not have landmines. I can make some landmines. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where? Is yeah, those are very easy. You just bury TNT and put a pressure. Pearson, stop fidgeting. Come back. I tried Fishing to is a sign of nervousness. The jury is the jury can see it. Yeah, look at Greg. He's pretty suspicious. The jury is a horse tied to a pole. <laughs> as well as a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> and it's my horse, so it's not very impartial. Okay, yes. So you admit that you were wrong, but you do not claim liability. Yeah, sure. So essentially what you're saying is that Southport is a dumb, horrible scumbag city. While Duopolis <laughs> is the greatest city in the world. No. So then, you are liable. No. These are directly conflicting things here. Southport has no villager population, and therefore a wall isn't as necessary there as it is in places like Duopolis and Montempolis. Because it's assumed that every citizen of Southport is capable of defending themselves, which clearly you appear not to be. That you is seem to be so this is your closing closing arguments, both of you. That was your closing argument, Dustin, because I gotta leave in ten minutes. <laughs> what do you what why do you think you have the right to sue? Basically that's that's my argument. I think you should have laws protecting your citizens. We're I don't even care. In my case, I'm doing this for the betterment of the people of your place, so they like me more than their own leader, so they move to Duopolis. <laughs> he clearly has ulterior <laughs> motives. <laughs> Alright, let the jury consult. We build a playground for when the court's at recess. <laughs> Have them toss me the results. I told Greg I'd give him an apple if he voted in my favor. Technically, it's not illegal. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is a landmark case being the first ever held. And um, the jury, let me read it, rules in favor of the king of Duopolis. 
Why? They believe it is it is strictly for the fact that the sidewalks should be kept clear of any environmental harm aside from mobs. So, what exactly did you want in return? That's the puffer fish pit. Oh, yeah, we gotta put you in the puffer fish pit. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's sleep first. Dumb court case. All right. Now, we'll apparently, every sidewalk in the state needs to be clear. The first landmark case determined that sidewalks seem to be clear. <laughs> And the punishment for the person who did it is that they were put in a pit with a puffer fish. <laughs> All right, Harrison. No, keep stay. No, stay. Stay. This stay. sucks. <laughs> stay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Justice has been served. Sure has. Oh, I picked up a bunch of it. I'm trying to. Retrieve the puffer fish. Here, Bessie. Alright, I got it. This is the, the judicial puffer fish. <laughs> Judge, jury, and executioner. The first, the first court case in the history of this state determined that sidewalks need to be. <laughs> determined that sidewalks need to be saved. And the punishment was the death penalty. <laughs> I puffer fish. <laughs> so like a torture death too, not even like a normal one. <laughs> Alright. 